Today I'm going to show you the large group base design and let's get right started. So what you first have to do is find a flat area where you can put a square foundation nearly all the way into the ground. Right there. Add some triangles on this side and also on the other side. Okay. After you build this, I'm going to add wall frames all around. Also in the center. Now we're going to put a foundation steps here, add a square, remove the stairs, add a square there, remove the other square. Now just put it all around here. Like that. Now we're going to add another warframe right here, like this each side Boop. now we're going to add some doors let's put them all around here like that now we build a center wall frames a bit up like that. and outside we're going to add walls oh, one more layer of walls Oops. and in the center we're going to add more wall frames. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to put the roofs in here. Just put them on every floor. Next floor. Now you see the trick on the space. Every half floor we got another floor. Finish it up till the top. So, after you're done with that part, I'm going to add the outside. Or the outer roofs. Just put them like this. Start with the squares first. Oh shit. Think don't, don't build a square there. Don't make the mistake. Put a triangle for the floor here. Just going to fill the triangles in. Perfect. Now on this side. What do you have to do now? Because it doesn't fit in here. First, finish it up all around. 
for stability. Once again, here it doesn't fit in. But make sure you finish it all around first. Alright, after you got that, I'm going to add another warframe right here. And now we can put in the last triangle. So, after you got the base like this, we're going to add some more foundations. So, I'll build three foundations out and build back with foundations. With triangle foundations, I mean. Do that all around the base. And remove this. And as always, of course, build with twig and not with stone like I did. So, after we're done with that, going to add some doorways. Just put one on this side. And on the opposite side. Now we're also going to add the walls in here. First start with the honeycomb. And then we do the autumn part. Build all around the base. And make sure it, it's lined up with the top floor and the bottom one. Uh, not like that. Not like this. So after we, so after we're done with building that, we actually forgot something. Building the floor frames and all of that. So we're just going to take uh, the floors out of one of these squares. Doesn't matter which one. So I just take this one here. Move all the floors. Of course, the door will break on this one here now. Doesn't matter. I just build right here. That you also can. It's very modular. So we just can put like two here, then two on another side, or put some here on the inside. It's up on you guys. But I just do it like this right now. I should repair here. Boom. Alright, after we're done with the lot heads, just going to add the outer wall. Also can see these wall frames doesn't matter if they're standing there. Just can build over them. So after we're done with that, with building the center walls, just going to add the honeycomb outside. Of course, I always pull it all around. Boom. Done with that. Adding roofs now. Gonna leave them all open. The whole three floors. Don't have to put roofs between them. So, after we're done with honeycombing and building the roofs, we're going to add some square foundations. First on the three foundations here. Side, also on the opposite side. I'm doing the next one right here. Another one. Same here. i do the same here. So that the Triangle floor right next to the three foundations doesn't has a square one attached. Do same here. And perfect. So because now to the triangle ones where you have no loot in, it's one, two, three, four walls, and to the square one will be one. 
two, three, four, five ones. And then a square foundation set will be your lead. Okay, after we place after done with placing the foundations, going to add the more honeycomb. Of course all around once again. And done. So after it should look like that. Going to add of course the floors once again. And now we're going to add a shooting gallery. Put on just a trial for us. And put the very second foundations where you get these little gaps here. Like that. And we build raw frame here, also on the opposite side. On both sides we add triangles. Here we're going to add doors between each of these gaps. And on the gaps, we can add windows. Also, also windows all around here. Also use the gaps, add some warframes. Each side by every gap. Like that. What we do now is going to add this to the center. And put floors all around. After we got this outer roof part, we're going to add a wall on these triangles on each side. And also can close the single ones. And now we add double door to the side and one on the side. And on the side the roof uh, uh wall. And I'll just put the last roofs in here. Now put a wall all around again. Like that. Of course we close that off as well. And we can make a lot of edge right here. Close this part off. Of course you can add now more roofs here on the top to build another shooting gallery or another shooting or another floor where you can shoot from. Or you just leave it open like I did. It's up on you guys. So you can expand it or not. Depends on your resources. And yeah, now we're just going to add the doors and everything in. So we don't have to start. And to show you that this is walking with a lot of ads. We'll take a while though. It's secure. Uh, 
that, but on the top. It's working. I'm going to add some Dumbledore's here. Also on the opposite side. And of course, the vertical brushes. So now we're going to add the doors. All around the base. Okay, done with that. Adding the double doors. Get a bit more protection. Perfect. Now adding the last ladder hatch so right here to shoot downstairs. Also on the other side. And perfect. Now the shooting gallery is done. Looks like that. Now we can add some high walls if we want to. Just leave the space in between them open. In the middle, you can go in and out. Let's do it on the opposite side. And I'll just build them all around. Perfect. Just going to add a concrete block right here to get inside. And here we have the loot room then. So and if you need more space than that, just can remove after two ladder edges that wall, replace it with a doorway and remove the square and put a floor frame in it and now you can also use the space on top here and put boxes in there as well shoot the enemies if they breach in through there so now we're just going to build the loot room first take boxes and put them in here you can put two in here maybe you fit more in there i don't know but i can only do two for now put them in Every square. Right, perfect. Don't put any boxes here where your entrances are. And also can put boxes now up here. Of course, put your important stuff like your explosives down there. Now, you as well can add some furnace in here or just some more boxes. Depends on you. So, that was the base build. I hope you guys liked it. I think that base is very strong, also from the top. If they blow, because now most likely people blow from the top. And uh, with all these floors, it will take them a shit ton of rockets. Also, you want to get through that. Also, the sides are pretty stacked and honeycombed. And yeah, it's of course, it costs a bit the space. So, it's more meant to be for large groups. But I still hope you guys liked it. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. And stay tuned, boys. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true.